he had left a note uh, kind of to terrorize us police officers. And we knew that we were going to have to, he was, he was getting excited by it, he was getting bloodthirsty, he was playing a game with us police officers, and it, we, we knew we had to catch this guy. Uh, however, he made a few mistakes. Uh, as we, I mentioned earlier, he left a, a latent print on this, uh, this piece of evidence right here. Um, yeah. um, we, we, uh, as well, there was a spelling mistake. He spelled please, P-L-E-E-Z-E, -E, okay? And we thought that was kind of, that was kind of odd. Um, my wife is a manager at Howard Johnson's. Yeah. And uh, a gentleman had checked in one day. Um, he was getting ready to leave. He had left a note at the front desk to uh, please leave clean towels in his room. He had spelled please the exact same way that we, uh, uh, as I had mentioned before, that same odd way. Dude, and uh, my, my wife, she uh, she called the police, uh, and we came, we came there immediately. Uh, we went to the front desk. We were able to ascertain uh, who the person was, um, and we uh, were able to apprehend him that way. Just to give you a little idea of what this guy was like, we'll read off the letter he left for us up on the wall with a knife stuck into it. Sweet. I did it again. You'll never catch me. It's the heads I like, and I'm going to keep them. Farmers are dying breed, and I will make sure of it. Farmers don't feed cities, they just think they do. I will run and I will hide. I laugh my ass off when this farmer died. Please come and get me. Dude. Just calling out for help. It was one of those guys that... It's the totally same thing you see all the time. He's just looking for attention. Totally psycho, man. Yeah. So I hear you, you cops, you know... Oh, sorry, police officers. Sorry, they're in. Uh, Oh, I know you guys have different names for like the types of uh, you have different types of evidence and stuff like that. And uh, get, what kind of types of evidences do you have here? Like, like with this note here, what is that, man? Is it? Well, we have real evidence, documentary uh -huh. evidence, and testimony evidence. Whoa, wow, there's, there seems to be a lot there, man. Uh, well, okay, uh, what is the uh, real evidence, man? Well, for instance, I brought two things with me out of the out of the locker. We don't need them anymore. He's already been tried and convicted. But well, I found some uh, hair samples on the body, and I also found some fibers also. And uh, the thing about real evidence is it has to be tagged properly with the police officer's name on it, his badge number, the item number, and then the signature of the officer. And the officer that takes the uh, evidence has to account for it from the time it goes to the police locker, from the police locker to court. So he has to take care of that. He has to put it in his notebook, the time and the date, and uh, his name on the evidence itself. And he also has to put that in his notebook and account for every single second that he has that evidence. Oh, wow. It's called continuity of evidence. Continuity. Wow, that's uh, pretty sick. But I don't understand, though, dude. Like, how do you know it's real evidence? Like, Real evidence is anything that's physical. The yeah. knife. For, for example, uh, the knife, uh, it was stolen on the locker. Yeah. Uh, afterwards, we actually had the knife as well. That was part of uh, some of the physical evidence that we had. Okay. At that, that particular scene. Okay, let me see if I get this straight. So I, I get up my, I get, I get up my jammy, and I go bow, and I shoot this guy, and then I just drop at the crime scene and run away because, just because I'm a chicken, man. So, is that real evidence? That gun there? Absolutely. Anything physical. Well, wow, okay, I got it. I got it totally. That man. as well as the shell casings. That uh, that would be real evidence as well. Sweet. Okay, so what else kind of evidence do we got here, man? We gotta have more. Like you said, like a documentary, like what the Documentary heck? evidence, yeah. Yeah, that's anything that's written. Uh, not, not, I shouldn't say that it's anything that's written. It yeah. could be things that are written, such as contracts, wills, things of that matter. But uh, also videotape. If we had videotape of the person uh, committing the crime, that would have cool. been documentary evidence as well. Cool, cool. Because it documented, it documented what happened. Okay. So is that footage there, is that considered real evidence that we have there of the crime scene? Is that real evidence? Or, yeah. I mean, documentary evidence, man? No. That it, has to, it has to be of the actual crime being committed at that time. Oh, okay. I got it. That's not documentary evidence. That would just be like for you, that'd be a, a documentary. Oh, I see. <laughs> got it, man. Okay. So, all right. So you said there was one more. There was a, what was it? That would be test the testimony evidence. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. Okay, what, what does this have to do? What, what is this, man? Testimony. Testimony is wraps up all the evidences. So you got real evidence, documentary evidence, and testimony. Testimony is what's done in court, and it wraps up all the evidence 
during testimony. So for instance, the physical evidence. Physical evidence is also testimony evidence because I have to go up there and testify to this evidence. My accounts yes. of the evidence, when I, t when I booked the evidence in the locker, when I took it off the body, when I put the tag on it and all that information, that has to be testified That's in court. Right. That becomes oh. testimony. Any evidence that you introduce, the witness uh, who saw it happening, for example, they would testify myself, I found oh. this note, I would testify that I at this time found this note, so oh, on and so I forth. It's just, oh, I'm just okay. testifying to uh, I introduce the evidence in court. Oh, I see, man. So the, the witness is like, dude, this is what happened. And the guy's like, yeah, that is what happened. I, is that what you mean? Yeah. Ah, I sort of. <laughs> the bomb, man. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That's man. something totally different. That's terrorism. Uh, the bomb. The bomb. Dude, you pull the fast one on the weasel, man. Oh, you can't, you can't believe this, man. All right, all right. Well, we totally have to get going, man. Uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll get back, and we're actually going to be interviewing Madonna. And it's a good time to bring up that old testimony again. Yeah. Okay, all right. Rock it out, man. Thanks for watching, dude. Peace out. Gave him some physical evidence. I was gonna bust a cap in his ass. Oh, dog! Wait a minute.